used as a diamond substitute because of its superior hardness. Synthetic blue spinel was also used as a substitute for both natural aquamarine and blue sapphire. It seems almost as if a sort of negative cachet was attached itself to this beautiful natural gemstone. For whatever combination of reasons, spinel is one of the least appreciated of all precious gemstones. This was not always the case. Tavernier describes Hindu merchant who sold a large stone represented to be a ruby for 95,000 rupees to Jaffa Khan, uncle of Aurangzeb, the great Mughal of India. The stone was then presented as a gift to the monarch. The emperor regarded the gift with a suspicion because he could not tell if the red gem was a true or a balas ruby. He sent the stone to Shah Jahan, his father, the former emperor, whom he had overthrown and imprisoned. The deposed emperor and the builder of the Taj Mahal identified the stone as spinel, stating that it was worth no more than 500 rupees, at which point the Mughal demanded his uncle's money be returned. Shah Jahan, alas, remained captive and subsequently died in prison. With the birth of modern scientific geology in the mid-19th century, many famous large rubies have been identified as spinel. These include the 140 carat black prince ruby, the 353 carat Timur ruby, and the 399 carat Catherine the Great ruby. Spinel and ruby form in tandem in the identical geological environment. They are often found together. Spinel actually crystallizes first and seizes only when the magnesium in the immediate environment exhausted. With a refractive index of 1.71, spinel is very close to ruby in its refractive qualities. Spinel, however, is singly refractive and rarely exhibits the uh, dramatic multicolor effect of or color bleeding normally seen in ruby. Spinel is tough and durable. 